Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 29th of November 2023. The Indian equity benchmarks extended gains for the second day on November 29th, with the Nifty surpassing 20,000 after over two months supported by positive global queues and buying in heavyweights. At close, the Sensex was up 727.71 points, or 1.1%, at 66,901.91, and the Nifty gained 206.90 points, or 1.04%, at 20,096.60. Top Nifty gainers were Hero Moto Corp, M&M, Axis Bank, Wipro and Tata Motors, while losers included ONGC. Nestle India, Ica Motors, Ardani Enterprises, and Divis Lab. Talking about the corporate segment, we have the Tata Motors Limited share hit a new 52 week high of 702.80 rupees on November 29th, anticipating a strong listing for its arm, Tata Technologies, the next day. According to analysts, Tata Technologies, which would be the first listing from the Tata Group since TCS in 2004, could see a strong listing gain of over 75%, considering the overwhelming subscription demand and investor-friendly pricing. Shares of Ether industry slumped over 8% in the trade on November 29, after the chemicals manufacturer reported a fire at its Surat facility early in the morning that injured 25 people. Investors were also concerned about the impact of the fire on the company's manufacturing and revenue prospects. Volumes in the counter shot up. Seven Lark shares changed hands in the morning session, manifold the one-month daily traded average of 76,000 shares. The Torrent Power share zoomed more than 21% on November 29th morning, to hit a new high of 1,004 rupees on the National Stock Exchange, NSE, on heavy volumes. A total of 34 Lark shares changed hands on NSE and BSE combined, compared to the one-week average volume of 6 lakh. The stock has risen 22% in the last five sessions. The counter has gained 93% this year, outperforming the benchmark Nifty was by a mile, which has risen around 10% during the time. Shares of Barat Heavy Electricals Limited gained over 5%, rallying for the fifth consecutive trading session after the Defense Ministry sealed a deal with the company to procure 16 upgraded super-rapid gun mount and accessories for Indian Navy. The ministry said the upgraded SRGMs will be installed onboard the Indian Navy's in-service and newly built ships. The Ministry of Defence has signed a contract with Barat Heavy Electricals Limited, Haridwar on November 28 for procurement of SRGM, along with associated equipment and accessories for Indian Navy it said in a statement. Shares of Bharti Airtel gained over 2% in early trade on November 29 to hit a record high of 1,007.10 rupees, surpassing the RS1000 mark for the first time and taking the market value to 5.6 rupees lakh crore. The Airtel stock has been in the limelight since reports suggested that the telecom service provider has begun the process of taking its subsidiary Bharti Hexacom public. If materialized, it will be the first public offer from the Bharti Group in over a decade. RV Enken Limited in daily time frame is trading around 141.90 points with a change of 20%, and is trading with a net volume of around 267.037 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 124.40, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 67.47. Asta DM Healthcare Limited in daily time frame is trading around 395.45 points with a change of 18.88% and is trading with a net volume of around 21.38 for million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 348.75 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 75.81. Shraddha Infra Projects Limited in daily time frame is trading around 62.20 points with a change of 16.15% and is trading with a net volume of around 2.002 million shares. 
the share price is trading above its moving average 53.10 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 79.77. For the stock recommendation we have, Knox Wind Limited looks good and can be bought at 280 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 271 rupees and a target of 295 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!